have to do anything The scent of skin is strong enough Huddle a little bit closer, babe Let's see if I can warm you up Previously on Becoming Tanika, girl, I had to get this room together. I had to clear everything off this bed, get this bed made up. I was so excited to just sit in my new room. Um, if you haven't checked out that vlog, definitely check it out. But let's get into what we're getting into today, sis. rising i'm getting ready to go into the office i didn't exercise but i slept really well um i didn't get to sleep until like 12 30 or one o'clock i have something in the dryer and in the washer um but yeah i wanted to show you guys the flesh toned underwear now that they're all clean hang on so it's this is more brown in person or i guess it still looks similar to my skin tone i'm more brown in person than what's showing up on this camera but yeah and then here's another one um it's got a little more yellow undertone again it's much browner in person um but you can definitely see the yellow undertone on camera this has got more of a red undertone this brown um and that's interesting <laughs> on camera this looks more like what this looks like in person very weird anyway you can see they're all browns i'll just put my own hand in there and then this one is a dark this is like for very dark skinned women but i just liked the purpley effect of it so it's in my nude collection and then here is the shapewear that's brown that's a shirt um yeah so i just wanted to show you guys some of those variations nude bar is where i get them from just arriving at crossover for the chiropractor had lunch with felicia it was super quick her mom was waiting for her so i didn't really record anything but let's see if we can get chiropractor covered i used to be so afraid to go to the chiropractor and then i started going based on the recommendation of some of my um trying to conceive tcc sisters and oh my god i don't know how i lived so long without it so first she just massages my back now remember i did get a massage over the weekend to kind of loosen it up but i had a lot of tension in my shoulders so she loosens everything up before we get started just to make her job easier. So I get like a nice little um, shoulder massage as we start off before the crack, crack, cracking starts happening. And we always catch up and chit chat. She's a good time. Um, and then she leans into it, aligns me. Um, the first time I felt the crack, I thought I was going to, um, I don't know. It didn't hurt, but it was a shock. And then it was like, after the crack, it just released and it just felt like everything was in alignment. So I'm here for it. Um, so then she has me flip over and she's gonna do this part of, um, yeah. She has that thing like to keep my spine straight in her hand. Um, and it just cracks, crack, crack, crack. Here, I think I'm telling her I want to be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, and so we just talked about that for a little bit. Okay, I never remember the physicians, no matter how many times I'm going to go. And then I always feel like I'm going to fall off the table. Look how she pulls me right to the edge. I just feel like I'm going to twist and fall right on off. But she's got me. That's my lower back that's getting cracked, snapped, and popped. Justice is a grail with me. You're gonna be in the voiceover, Justice. Um, and then she lifts the table. Uh, this time I was actually pretty good. Like my legs were even. Sometimes she'll be like, you know, one leg is longer. Like I have a hitch in my get along. So this one was, uh, it wasn't too bad, even though I hadn't been in like a couple of weeks. I try to go once a month. I try to go once a month, but I feel like this, I hadn't been since before my last uh, transfer. So it's been, six to eight weeks I want to say yeah and then I'm back to the office I actually had to take a meeting on the way as I walk back to 30 Rock thank God for teams and all of these virtual meetings because I just plugged it right on into my headset and talked and walked 
while I went back. Because even though we're all in the office now, um, we're still not all meeting in rooms. So while I stand here and wait for the elevator, I dial up my meeting and then I head back over to the office. The interesting part too, I um, this parade that's outside is the Columbus Day Parade, but this year everybody was meant to be celebrating Indigenous People Day, so I'm not really sure um, what that was all about. But they looked cute out there. I'm sure it's like a huge money maker for New York, the Columbus Day Parade, because all the stations, even our local um, station, covered it. So I don't know, y'all. Let's band together and do an Indigenous People Day Parade. Yeah, see. Hello, all right, I'm finally headed home. Oh my God, what a crazy day. It's six o'clock, I gotta go get the girls. The daycare wasn't even technically open today. I took them to the, like the back door where the boarding is, where I pick them up when I'm late. Hopefully they don't charge me extra, but I had already committed to coming in, so I had to go with the flow there. <laughs> Fly with the stars, sound free. Buddy. The girls and I are home, and I realized I didn't show you guys my outfit from this morning, and that mirror is dirty. So let me just quickly show you what I wore for the day. This is, can you guys see my shoes? Maybe. Maybe not. My teaks. I'm just wearing my neutral color teaks. And I have on um, J. Crew. So the jacket is J. Crew. And these pants are J. Crew. I think these are called Pixie pants. And they have like a little um, zipper and eye hook in the back and little um, seams. The girls are on the bed going crazy. And then underneath I have on my Skims full length, full sleeve bodysuit and the little jewelry. I have the matching earrings to this. Uh, and I didn't wear all my beads. I wore just the Tiffany's. And then I just got this from, I think it's JBW. Oh, yeah. I also got a watch from JBW. I was That's one of the things I wanted to do today is get it sized. But they only do it between 10 and 12. I'm going to grab the watch. I'll be right back. Let me get their harnesses off because they're going crazy and get them some water. Because Liberty is panting like crazy. She seems to be a little wet too. I'm gonna dry her off. I'll be back. Okay, they have water. I don't know what's going on with them. Liberty didn't want me to dry her. Anyway, so JBW, I, I think I may have said JBL, but so this is the watch that I got. And I'm hoping that because they only do, I told the guy I wanted to make an appointment for having my watch resized and he said 10 to 12. So I'm hoping they'll do it on the spot. I haven't even taken it out of here yet. But there is the watch. It's still wrapped in the way that it came shipped. But this bracelet, this one here, which I like this detail, came with this. Or, I mean, it complements this, I should say. It's a separate purchase, but I'll put the links down in the description box below if you guys are interested. I think I used Peyton Marie Charles's code for buying this. Um, and they have hot sales too, so like if you like something, you can mark it, and if they have a hot sale, they'll send you like an email. But I liked the green face. My birthstone is emerald, which is green, and so I like that. Still didn't get my nails done. <laughs> I um, today was a little bit crazy. Crazy good, but busy. Um, I'd rather have busy than not. You know what I mean? The time goes by fast. But I definitely have a list of things to do. I did when I picked up the girls. I talked to Leo. He said there is going to be an extra charge. It was today they charged me like if it was a Saturday because they are closed for the day. Um, he was like, oh, it's on the website. Okay, great. I don't even think, no, I wasn't because we didn't move into this place until the end of October. So I wasn't a client this time last year. So I don't know. So I will be checking the website girl because they probably close on Veterans Day too next month on the 11th. So, and the Cheyenne was going to pick them up today and then she changed it to tomorrow. So that would have been a help, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Just add it to the list of costs. All right, I'm gonna um, sit down. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog tonight. I've got clothes to fold up. I don't know if anybody wants to see that. And um, I need to edit. I need to edit because I need to post the vlog tomorrow. So I'll come back on um, around dinner time, but nobody wants to see me edit. I might show you guys just a few clips. I'm still using iMovie. I bought Final Cut Pro 
but I haven't <laughs> mastered it yet. And then somebody was telling me you could do like the first cut in iMovie and then move it over to Final Cut Pro and do the transitions in there. So I'm gonna play with that, but not tonight because I need to get this posted for tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I just gotta look at the calendar. And then tomorrow, I'm officially starting the jump rope challenge. One more person joined, two people tried to join, but I think the other girl's not on an iPhone and I already set up a group chat in iPhone. I try to collect everybody's name at the beginning so we can figure out who, you know, where, if it's gonna be an Instagram group or if it's gonna be iPhone group. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get somewhere and sit down, child. Um, yeah, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. I just need to get settled. <laughs> hey there. Oh, I should have brought the light in here, but you can see me. <laughs> I am editing. It's 828. I'm also heating up a factor meal. I'm going to go ahead and eat. I am in a good zone. So the goal is to finish this, add all the music. I'm going to enjoy a little Lala. Um, this one is ice cream cake. Makes you social at a party. There's another one I have, makes you sleepy. I don't smoke it. I actually chew it. So I'm gonna take it with some Jello and it just mellows me right on out. I got this, I think, September 10th because I got it for my friend's birthday. And I also got me a little something something. So I'm gonna have that. And I don't know why lately I've been having it when I'm editing and doing the music. <laughs> And it just puts, it's a whole vibe. It's a vibe. But yeah. Um, smells good. I chew it. And so I chew it with like, um, tonight's going to be jello. Sometimes I do dark chocolate. Actually, maybe I might get some dark chocolate. It's sugar-free jello. Don't worry. But yeah, I just want to have a little bit. Mellow out. Factor meal is ready. So I'm going to take this first before I eat. And it also like, chewing it instead of smoking it gives it like an even I don't know how to explain it it's all getting absorbed at the same time and it just like washes over me <laughs> unlike the light that I'm under um yeah anyway I just wanted to to check in I have the garlic and herb chicken breast with smoked cheddar cauliflower grits. Um, I already did a little sample taste. It tastes yummy. This is 670 calories. Sugar is 4 grams. Sodium is 870. Um, no added sugar. Protein is 43. Fat is 50, so it's a great keto meal. The girls are going to have this. Um, I made their little dishes there. It's Italian roasted pork with roasted broccolini. I also tested this, it tastes good. I will say though, if you don't like the stalks of broccoli, broccolini or broccoli, this is not a good choice for you because they give you quite a bit of stock. Stalk, you know, S-T-A-L-K. Um, and that's only really the top of it. I actually love the stock of broccoli and broccolini, but I know some people don't because I dated a person who didn't. But anyway, that's what we're going to have um, for dinner. I'm going to eat that. And don't judge me that I'm feeding the dogs Factor. There's a new Factor box coming tomorrow, and I just don't want to waste any of them. I don't want to throw them out. And that was the last week where I didn't change my order. I'm not necessarily like a huge pork fan anyway. Like I wouldn't have picked that, but it does taste okay. Um, so hopefully the girls like it. I mean, it tastes good. I shouldn't say it tastes okay. It tastes good if you're into pork. Um, yeah. It's actually really well seasoned. Um, I would say it's better seasoned than when they do um, chicken. I like the seasoning on there. 
Um, all right, let us eat. We'll be back. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm having a good time editing, but the, I had to get up and get a notebook because I'm losing um, my train of thought. So I need to make, no, like, I'm enjoying the music, though, which is really nice. But I did get up, get more water, got the notebook, turn the light on to talk to you guys. The girls are knocked out. So cute. They loved the dinner, and then I finished off what they didn't. <laughs> I love broccoli um, and broccolini. Yeah, I've folded up most of the clothes. Um, I still have a load in the dryer that I need to take out. So I'll probably put those away, take the ones out of the dryer, drop them over there, take the stuff out of the wash, put it in the dryer, and then fold up the other load. Because it's towels. Um, so I don't want them. Actually, I'll probably like, while I'm putting these away, I'll probably just turn the dryer on for those couple minutes just in case. They got any wrinkles on it? Nothing worse than like, I don't know. I feel like when you take them out warm, the towels, they stay nice and fluffy. You know what I mean? You fold them and it's just like fluffy. But I feel like when they're in the dryer um, and then the dryer cools down, they kind of like morph. I don't know. They're just not as fluffy. Or am I tripping? Do you guys experience that? Or are you really good and always just remember to take your um, towels out <laughs> as soon as the dryer stops? <laughs> okay um anyway let me get this going I'm gonna finish editing what I ended up doing because it's 9 51 right now I'm getting tired um I split it in half because it was gonna be 51 minutes so I did a, a to be continued at the end and I think I'm gonna stop there after that but like tomorrow I'll do the intro so like previously on simply Tanika and have cuts in there and then get into the video because I cut it like at the halfway mark 23 where it made sense um like from storyline perspective but yeah I didn't want to introduce any new elements at the end because I felt like y'all have a short attention span and so you might miss something because I I don't know maybe you guys don't watch the vlogs well obviously if you're here you're watching it but sometimes we do the lives and people ask me things that I already said in the vlog so I'm like either they didn't see it or I wasn't clear so anyway that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking about you guys and like how you're gonna enjoy this so yeah but like I was saying I'm gonna finish up this um the goal is to finish editing it's 10 it's 9 53 I'm gonna try to finish by 10 15 and then convert the file uh, I'm not gonna do the thumbnail and the title tonight oh excuse me I did the prep work for the thumbnail like I did screen grabs but I'm not gonna make it tonight because I want to go to bed tomorrow I gotta jump I'm supposed to be like organizing this challenge I haven't jumped one day so tomorrow I gotta jump no matter what and then I gotta get to the office um all right let me stop yammer yammering and get this done baby ain't nothing like some hot towels out of the dryer nice and warm they smell good oh my god I do not like doing laundry but I'm so grateful when it is done um just the fluffiness and the clean and just brings back order to the house so yeah these are all the towels and my little head wrap that i use when i wash my hair um i have two different ones a terry cloth one and a t-shirt one for the curls all right it is 10 58 the dryer is still going um but the washer is not that's the last load uh, but it's 10 58 it's 10 59 now I just finished um, initiating the file conversion so <laughs> this video may not go up tomorrow because I'm not gonna work on the thumbnail I'm gonna go to bed um, it may go up on Wednesday oh. excuse me yeah because if I don't get in bed by 11:30. It makes it harder to get up to jump rope. So thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>